Although you don't need to be a developer to use Pendo, it does require a brief technical installation. During this process, we highly recommend involving any technical resources from your team that will be assisting as soon as possible so that they can best understand what's needed for a successful implementation. This will be someone with the ability to insert Pendo's JavaScript code snippet into the front end of your web application. Once installed, you won't need to involve developers in the future and everything will be managed from within the Pendo application. You will complete the Pendo installation in this three-step process. One, identify the visitor and account metadata you want to hand to Pendo. Two, install the Pendo snippet. And three, verify your installation. You will find a provided template snippet for your Pendo subscription that looks like this. This snippet includes all of the code necessary for Pendo to serve guides and collect analytics. The only pieces you will need to adjust are the visitor and account sections. Visitors represent the unique end users of your product, while accounts represent groupings of these visitors. All of the visitor and account information is handed off to Pendo from within your application. This is information that is already available within your software and is passed to our JavaScript snippet. You will also notice a 32-digit key that is already populated at the bottom of the snippet. This is your API key which connects the snippet to your Pendo subscription. Pendo requires a visitor ID which defines your end users. It is critical that the visitor ID provided is universally unique to accurately track individual users across all environments or product lines and to ensure Pendo tracks analytics and delivers guides correctly. For example, if there are two users identified with a visitor ID of ABC in two different products or environments, Pendo will only recognize them as a single person because their visitor ID is identical. In this case, we would want to ensure that the two separate users are identified with differing IDs. If you plan to install Pendo on a staging environment or a pre-production environment, you will also want to ensure that there is no overlap of visitor IDs between this environment and your production environment. While not required, we highly recommend passing account information that's associated to a group of users, including a universally unique account ID across environments and product lines. In addition to the visitor ID and account ID identifiers, you can also supply metadata at both the visitor and account levels to enrich your options for guide targeting. You can pass over any fields that are present in your application. I will now walk through the process of preparing the snippet for installation by copying this code into my text editor. Some examples of visitor level metadata would be first name, last name, email address, user permissions, such as admin, user, or read only, and role or title. Again, you're able to utilize any existing information you have in your application, so you may have some industry-specific metadata fields available to pass as well. At the account level, you may consider passing something like the account name, the account industry, the market segment, account creation date or sign-up date with your product, their contract start date, their renewal date, and their contract value. Again, we are setting the field names within the visitor and account objects of the snippet and populating them with values from variables that are already present in your application. You will later be able to compose segments in Pendo using any combination of metadata rules to deliver contextual guides to specific audiences. Before installing the Pendo snippet, identify what information or metadata you want to capture. You may be able to utilize some of the examples illustrated here or have ideas specific to your application. If you aren't sure what information is available, the technical resources helping to implement the snippet may have more insight. Once you have an understanding of what information you want to pass to Pendo, this will help to convey what variables you need to your developers. After you decide what metadata you want to include and adjust your Pendo snippet, the next step is to install it inside of your product. We recommend that you place the snippet in a common area of your HTML so that it is automatically included on all pages of your application. The snippet will need to be present on any pages that you want to collect analytics on or serve guides on, so we strongly encourage for you to include it everywhere. If you have iframes in your application, you will need to ensure that the snippet is also included inside of all iframes to properly track analytics and serve guides. Pendo collects all analytics once the snippet is present in your app, so you will also be able to access all of the previously stored data retroactively at any point in the future. 
I'm going to copy the snippet I worked on in the previous step and paste it into the head tag of my HTML template, which is present on all pages of my application. Once this code is live, Penda will be installed on my app. To check the status of your installation and to see if metadata is set for a particular user, you can do the following. After installing Pendo, even if it's only on a test environment, open up your application in a browser. Once signed into your application, you're going to want to open the Browser Developer Console. To do this, right-click on the page and click Inspect. This will open the developer tools of the browser. You will then want to click on the Console tab. Once in the Console tab, type pendo.validate install, open parentheses, close parentheses into the console and hit enter. Information on your visitor's identifiable metadata will be returned. These are all of the values we specified in the snippet and will inform you if we were able to successfully map the data to pendo. If you get an error saying that pendo is not defined, this means that the snippet was not successfully included or not successfully executed in your code. Once Pendo has received event data from your installed snippet, you will receive an email letting you know when you have full access to the Pendo application.